This module looks at what is involved in an energy management system. The greatest industrial energy efficiency improvements are achieved through changes in how energy is managed, not through installation of new technologies. An energy management standard provides a method to integrate energy efficiency into existing industrial management systems. And all existing energy management systems that follow ISO 50001 are compatible with the quality management standard ISO 9000 and the environmental standard ISO 14000. Companies that have voluntarily adopted a standard for energy management systems have achieved major energy intensity improvements. And that's true in the property and transport sectors, as well as in industry sectors such as manufacturing. Monitoring people's movements and controlling or at least influencing elements of their behaviour to encourage the efficient use of energy is one focus of energy management. On the technology side, there's a wide range of proven tools that are readily available for energy management and the list is growing. In choosing technologies, you should look for the best available. You should consider energy efficiency and operation as well as maintenance requirements. Performance measurement is critical to the verification of energy savings and the measurement systems you install should deliver sufficient data for proper decision making and allow the statistical analysis you need to identify patterns over time. In order to obtain energy performance improvements, you must conduct an energy review and identify an action plan. You then implement the plan, followed by a check of the performance through a review with management, and you act on the identified improvements. Together, these steps complete a cycle, plan, implement, review and improve. Plan, implement, review and improve can also be described as in this flow diagram as a plan, do, check, act cycle. They're essentially the same cycle. In this flow chart, once top management commits to an energy management system, the energy review takes place, generating recommendations for energy performance improvements. Decisions are then made on which recommendations to put into the plan. Aspects that require no significant capital expenditure can be implemented immediately. Technical aspects that require significant investment can be taken up as energy management projects starting with either a feasibility study or a detailed energy audit. The goal is to improve energy performance, but you have to be careful when defining energy performance. Performance can be measured in terms of cost, absolute use, or with various energy use ratios such as kilowatt hour per unit of business, or in terms of CO2 emissions. To sum up, an energy management standard requires a systematic approach and combines behaviour change among all the workforce, including management, with the use of energy monitoring to generate data to objectively determine performance, followed by corrective procedures, and technical improvements backed by management approval. Finally, immediate implementation of low or no capital cost changes to existing equipment.